Coast Wrestling of Louisiana presents Spring in the Ring, live April 28th at the Amelia Recreation Center in Amelia, Louisiana. For more ticket information, call 985-518-0433 or visit our brand new website, gcw-gulfcoastwrestling.com. I'm addicted and expensive, Byron Wilcox, and I'm watching WGS TV. Welcome to another installment of WGS TV right here on YouTube.com slash Russell Gamer. I'm Double B Billy Boudreaux, and I have some information concerning the release of Darksiders 2. For those of you who are expecting at its uh, original release date, um, there's been an announcement from uh, Vice President Danny Bilson uh, saying that the game will be delayed until August. The announcement claims that this will give the game, quote, additional time for polish and to ensure that all aspects of Darksiders 2 will meet the high quality bar the team is targeting. There's also an attached uh, FAQ that goes on to state that the release date will vary by region and the exact dates will come soon. It also gets, uh, gets out ahead of potential rumors by stating emphatically that the delay wasn't due to the Wii U launch or the recent layoffs. The game itself and future DLC plans will remain unchanged and when if asked you know when asked if another delay is possible the, uh, the uh, FAQ for some reason does not give a direct answer but they, uh, it does insist that the delay is merely for final polishing purposes only the delay does make good on recent comments from vice president Bil uh, Danny Bilson uh, he said they wouldn't quote ship it ship it before it's done and promised that THQ will give Vigil Games quote everything they will need to make it as good as it can be including some extra time apparently he also remarked in the case of both Darksiders 2 and South Park THQ quote can't afford to ship until it's perfect and I gotta agree with that statement you know if they're really having like financial issues and problems the last thing they really need to do is ship out uh, games that are un that are incomplete that are not ready to be shipped so I, I think that's just a good idea from uh, Vigil Games and uh, Vice President Danny Bilson to hold off on the release of Darksiders 2 to get that final per uh, polish uh, done to the game because like I said you know it's a good idea to do that because if they would ship the game and it would still have like bu all these kinds of bugs and defects with the game and with the uh, programming, then it, that would be a huge loss to not only THQ but to Vigil Games. So, and my thoughts on it: it's a smart move from Danny Bills and Vigil Games. I commend them for it, and you know that's pretty good in my opinion. Because you know, for those of you who don't know, August is my birthday, hence the birthstone of my uh, graduation ring here. But. Uh, that could be something I'm, I'm, I might pick up with my birthday cash. You know, uh, nowadays I just get uh, cash sent to me for my for my B-Day, so uh, that could be something i possibly pick up. Because I do have the first Darksiders. I haven't finished it yet, it, although it's a really good game. But the second Darksiders looks really good and really, really promising. So, um, if you guys have any thoughts you'd like to make on the delay of Darksiders 2 to August, be sure you leave your comments in the comment section below or in a video response with your thoughts on the delay of Darksiders 2 till August by Vigil Games and Vice President Danny Bilson. Don't forget to also like and favorite this video and don't forget to, to please subscribe to youtube.com slash WrestleGamer if you haven't yet already. With that being said, I'm Double B. Billy Boudreaux saying thank you very much for watching.